Rip Right HD. We in Egypt, guys. When we looked up on Uber, it was $14 to drive two hours. 14 US dollars. Let's get some mangoes, inshallah ta'ala. Don't leave home without this. If you ever in Egypt. Yeah, so we just left the market, as you can see. Yeah, how much mangoes was those? We got like 15, 16 mangoes, 300 pounds. And that was $6. So we got like 15 mangoes for $6. Now we headed to Kafir Sheikh. As you can see, our hotel is right in between those buildings that you see with no walls. That's where our hotel is at. So it's a serious situation. And I just want everybody to understand and to know, count your baraka, meaning count your blessings, man. Stop complaining about your situation. You have the people that's even worse in here in El Gaza and Sudan and places where there's war, captives, people getting beheaded, killed, Congo. May Allah tabarak to Allah have mercy and free the people, man, because it's serious. One US dollar could make all the difference. Yes, sir. As a Muslim, as a non-Muslim, as a human, when you see the situation that other people are in, you have to have a conscience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuh. To all the Ripper Hadith disciples, YouTubers and viewers, welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD. All right, right now we're in Tanta. We're in Egypt, guys. My first time being in Egypt. Mel's first time being in Egypt. We had the battle in Dubai. Sell out in the bars nine. Shout out to Khalid and Atif. Um, they battled it out and Atif um, took that win. Well, alhamdulillah. <clears throat> From there, we shot right here to Egypt. Um, I got to handle some business. Now, being here in Egypt right now is so old school. As I said, Back in the 2000s, um, late 90s, you know, early 2000s as well. We, you know, I've been to Jamaica quite a few times to visit my father. Um, he was throwing birthday parties for my brother. So we was running around, no shoes on in the streets in Jamaica. And this is kind of what reminds me of right now in Egypt, old school. Salaam alaikum, salaam alaikum. But, Ever since then, going to prison, coming out, making some money, um, starting Rip Right LLC, you know, you become, how would I say, not, not ungrateful, but you don't, you don't count, yeah, desensitize of what's going on in the world. So I'm, you, you kind of don't count your blessings like that until you realize how serious it is and how serious people have it. And, and why I say that, when we got here, we exchanged, I think, like 700 USD, which, ran, which, which came out to about 33,000 pounds. So... 33,000 we took a cab right we was gonna do uber from the airport our hotel was two hours two hours from the airport was the hotel that was the airport was two hours i'm sorry they don't care about the, the cars in the streets out here they like they, they they be so close like they about to run you over there's no lines in the road and they drive real, like they, like it's serious. So when we looked up on Uber, it was $14 to drive two hours. 14 US dollars. 14 US dollars was the max. And that was like a, a XL Comfort. Yeah. And we got mad bags. We got two check bags each. And then we got a carry on and a personal. So we loaded. So, before we even got the Uber, we was just like, yeah, let's get a regular cab. So the regular cab guy said 2,000 pounds, which roughly was $41. And I'm like, that's still good, but we was just talking to him back and forth. I'm like, yo, 1,500. I'm like, yo, the Uber is only charging us, you know, a thousand, a, yeah, a thousand a th something, something like a thousand pounds. He like, he like, yo, the Uber don't come over here. 
So I'm like, yo, 1500. He like, nah, 1800. We got to go back and forth. I'm like, all right, cool. I, I do 1800. When we stop, the guy says, yo, you going to give me a tip? Yeah, I gave him 200 pounds as a tip, which is roughly $4. Yeah. Right? So he ended up getting a 2000 USD anyway. I mean, the 2000 pounds. But I say that to say this. A person that's making 147 USD a month here is considered middle class. It's considered doing okay, decent. He can live off of that. Salam alaikum to captain. Bro, if you're making 500 USD, you are hemothy. You are like, you are that dude. You know, you're not really seeing foreign cars. You're not seeing Benzes. You're not seeing Beamers on the streets. It's like real old cars and you know these cars got a lot of mileage. As a matter of fact, while we was walking, a dude car was broken down. Trying to get us to help him push start. So we started pushing the car. He, he, yeah, he said, yo, can y'all help me push? He was just like, so it was three of us. Got on the, in the back of the car, started pushing it. Another young, young boy came, was pushing the car. He was trying to get a push start and it didn't, it didn't start. But at the end of the day, it's not easy. So we sitting here in the U.S. and you complaining. Bro, our hotel I think is 215 square feet. Got two twin beds. It's no real hot water. You know, but I did prison time. This stuff like, that's light. So, but after a while of being used to something, you might come through and get shot. So you have to be prepared, one, and number two, you just gotta be grateful that Allah has given you some kind of money, has put you in a place where if it's crime, the crime is low, or if you're safe, or if you got your health, you know, got all your fingers, your eyes, you name it. We went to the store. I brought a huge snicker. It was a double snicker in one. We brought two Slurpees. We brought two bottles of water. We brought a pack of Oreos. We brought two mango juices. And I brought an ice cream. It was 297 pounds. Which was about $4. Which was about $4. Is that correct? Yeah, it was about $4. Cause 200 pounds is $4, right? Yeah, so it was four and change. Yeah, so $4 and change. So you could, yeah, it's crazy. It's just crazy how far your money go out here. Um, but then also we just tipping people with just $1 US, US $1 and it's like they also grateful for that. At breakfast in the hotel wasn't the super best. Everything was pretty much cold, but you know, boiled, the only thing that was hot was the boiled eggs. As you can see, people just driving around, hustling, trying to get to some bread, trying to make it better for them and their family. It's not, it's not easy. A lot of the roads is not done. Oh, that's a spot right here. Yeah, we went and brought we have to get some adapters because we, you know, we've been to Germany, Saudi, Belgium, all those places. So we had on our, our adapters in the house. We forgot those. This is it. It's gone. Yeah. And we brought all of that stuff. And that joint was maybe $20. F that. Yeah, we bought what? Two, two, one adapter because we only had one at the time. Um, I think two two regular chargers, uh, then another another Apple wire, um, and all of that was like twenty dollars altogether. All of that. So right now we just trying to get another charger, real quick to see if he got it. Yes. Salam alaikum. Look at you.
So right now we're in a charger spot. We're trying to get a charger now. You can ask if he had the adapter, try to explain. So right now, as we go, we're gonna go down to the souk over here. And then what we'll do is get some mangoes, inshallah ta'ala. So we had to stop at the charger spot to get some, um, don't leave home without this. If you have in Egypt or Germany, cause this is gonna fit the three prong plug for the, um, for London, I believe, and Saudi, but it's also gonna fit the regular plug when it comes to, when it comes to the, um, the US. So you're gonna definitely need this because the charging system out here, if you just get a regular plug that holds like USB or, or type C, it don't charge fast at all. So you're gonna need your high powered charger. Is this it? This ain't it. At the same spot? Okay, tell you. So we getting them fresh. These ones look better, you think? That's it. Good? Yes. Nice. طريقتنا بمعهدنا طريقتنا بمعهدنا جليلة تساعد كي تنال به الفضيلة تميز ذا المكان الأندلس لتطوير الذوات من الدروس فلو ترجو البراعة والنجاح فخذ عربية وأجد صلاحا وثق صدقا بهذا اليوم والغد Yeah, so we just left them off there. As you can see, we got mad mangoes. Can you smell bro? No. Yeah, how much mangoes was those? I don't even know. It was 300 pounds, oh, which oh, is... Oh. Okay, let me find out. Let's see how much... We, we got like 15, 16 mangoes for 300 pounds. Six dollars. And that was six dollars. So we got like 15 mangoes for six dollars. And I gave them... I gave them 350. Cause um she gave me a hundred and we gave her back the hundred and she gave us fifty so we gave her like a dollar tip just with fifty so I'm glad they, they that that was good so just so you can see with three hundred pounds literally walk away with a whole mango tree subhanallah yeah so now we headed to Kafir Sheikh unfortunately our hotel doesn't have an iron. So I'm gonna show y'all the view right now of what I'm seeing. So as you can see, our hotel is right in between those buildings that you see with no walls. So, right there, no walls. That's, that's where our hotel is at. So it's a serious situation. And I just want everybody to understand and to know Count Your Baraka. Meaning count your blessings, man. Stop complaining about your situation. You have the people that's even worse than here right now in, in, in El Gaza, in Sudan, and places where there's war, captives, people getting beheaded, ki killed, Congo, you name it, man. Allah Tabarak Ta'ala have mercy and free, free the people, man, because it's serious. You can literally go to another country with money and not have to worry about being robbed, killed, murdered, and 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 you know and alhamdulillah you 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 you, you suffice Allah protects you like you know me and Mel now we're foreigners here and the people are treating us good some just want money but others are for the most part good people and even the ones that just want money are also not bad people one one US dollar could can make all the difference one US dollar can make a lot of difference and 
So if you come to Egypt, I advise that you just come out here with like a hundred dollars that you can actually, if you got it. And come out here with a hundred singles, man. And everybody you kind of interact with, whether it's at your hotel, the maid just did your bed, whether it's getting breakfast in the morning and you give that person a dollar, man, it brightens up the day, man, mashallah, and it makes them feel good. I didn't know it was that serious. I didn't really understand. So I didn't come here with a lot of singles, but alhamdulillah, we was able to exchange and get a good amount of um, pounds. So giving out 50 pounds is come here for a couple weeks and, and you end up with a thousand dollar budget that's what you got i'm telling you then it don't seem like there's nothing out here that you're not going to be able to do yeah you if you, if you got a thousand dollar budget you're not even going to be able to spend that <laughs> literally that's equivalent to 40,000. 48, 000. egyptian pounds yes might have to get a ring yeah so y'all know what time it is man we in egypt in tanta and it's, it's subhanAllah. I see the beauty in it. I see the beauty in it. Okay, guys, that's our telly right there. A close up. Tanta. Assalamu alaikum, Tikata. So we back in the panorama. I'm pretty decent. I mean, I don't have no complaints at all. It's, this one is good. This is like a luxury. And you see, as you can see, the door. Yeah. No door to protect you. Dang it. They get real. They get real. Yes, sir. So we right here. Some spot. You got the doors work pretty good. Then you gotta put that little freaky to get the, the lights to turn on. Now look at that. 215 square feet. But you know, we're not complaining, man. I'm telling you, we're gonna get our mangoes in the fridge and then we're gonna head to Kefir Sheikh. Y'all can check out our um, bathroom, which is shocking because we're in an Islamic country and they don't have the bude. That's what shocked me. So I gotta have my little bottle on the side because you gotta wash your ass after you finish taking a smash. And even when you take a lead, you gotta wash the hammer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Oh, that was for the boudé? But it don't work. Oh, yeah, wow. This foot thing right here was for the boudé. Because that's the boudé in the back to hit the to hit the back. But how you going to hit the front? That's the thing. It don't even work. Once again, guys, just be grateful. Be thankful. Ask God to protect you, to guide you, to keep you safe, man. Consistently say this, man. Muslim, non-Muslim, we ask that Allah guides everybody to Islam. Because we believe it to be the only in the correct religion. Yeah, it's just like every any other religion. They believe the same thing. So, you know, everybody has their opinions, their their um, their way of life on what they choose, their path, and, you know, free will. But I'm going to tell you one thing. As a Muslim, as a non-Muslim, as a human... When you see the situation that other people are in, you have to have a conscience. And it's in, in, you know, alhamdulillah, in some of these countries, people have it real, real rough, man. And I think you should just take the mangoes out one by one, line the waters up on the door. Yeah, and then we'll be good. Yeah, much love, everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, we about to have another battle soon for another trip to Dubai in December. So stay tuned, y'all. Stay ripped, six pack, big back, big back.
indeed in the body, literal translation, is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh...